Oh yeah! Rock on! What's up, metalheads? Peter Gilmore here for another video. A music-related video right here on Metal God 669. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you like the video. Hit the subscribe button down below in my pants. Otherwise known as the description box below on this channel and my other four that's right, four main channels, which are in the description box below. So show, it, so, so show them your love and support. I'll get it out. And fo uh, follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. If you're real, if you're not, you can go, you know where. You can get out of here. You have to be real. If you're not, go do something else. And don't forget to share the video all over the internet and tap the bell and... Tap and smash that bell like it's your guitar. And turn on all notifications so you don't miss a goddamn video. And that's pretty much it. And if it's your first time watching, well, welcome to the party, pal! And I hope you enjoy the ride, because it's very evil and very dangerous. So, grab a cold one, like we always do. Strap in, and if you, like I said, if you like the content, hit that like button. And if you like it, want more, hit the bell, and don't forget to subscribe! <clears throat> and that's it. Have a good old time. Leave a comment or whatever you want to do. That's it. All right. It's Wednesday, and you know what that means. We got AEW Dynamite coming your way in um, just under four hours. Uh, the aftermath of this past weekend's AEW Revolution. So we'll see what happens with that. We got... Uh, we had a pretty good Raw, well, not a great Raw, but pretty decent Raw. Uh, 1.87 rating for Raw this past Monday night. And then last night we had NXT Roadblock, which was meh. Had a really kind of scary ending with Roxanne Perez. We don't know if it's a work or it's an actual actual injury. She fainted and really didn't get up. So hopefully she's okay. I think she's okay. I think it was, it's a work, but you never know. But hopefully she's okay, and we'll talk about that later, later tonight. Uh, well, probably in a couple hours we'll talk about that, as uh, I'll lead you into uh, Dynamite tonight. That's on the Peter Gilmore channel. But right now, right now on this Wednesday afternoon, March the 8th, 2023, ladies and gentlemen on the Metal Guy channel, I told you we we're going to do another one bagging, and I got it right here. Right here, in my hands, we got another In This Moment unbagging from the mighty In This Moment. So, they uh, came out with another uh, pre-sale. And there was a couple shirts that I wanted, but this particular one I wanted. Uh, they had one called Wings, which is this one. Then they had Gather, which is another shirt on their merchandise store. It was a pre-sale. Uh, it, it was shipped on Monday. I got this today. I was getting a little nervous because originally I was going to get it on Saturday. But I was like, no, I, I paid for two-day shipping. Or it should be coming to today, you know? So I had to make sure, and, you know, thankfully they told me, you know, well, the people that sent this stuff told me it was coming today. So got it today. So it's in my hand. And by the way, you know, so... So you think you think I get I just got got this you know from a store? No, I got it in the mail, assholes. So, it I mean it is what it is, and I had money for it because I work and make more money than you. So, it is what it is. But anyway, so so this is the wings shirt from the in this moment merchandise store. Uh, I've got a couple other other things there where you can go on the official In This Moment uh, website on their merchandise store. Get some good stuff. You know, I got this on a discount, by the way. It was $35, but, you know, I was originally got to pay, supposed to pay $49 and change. But I got a 10% discount because I'm so nice. And I only had to pay $45.50 for this. So, it wasn't bad. That's with shipping and handling. So, that was not bad. So. so, anyway, so I'm going to open this bad boy up, show you all, all you nice, great metalheads. And like I said, you can buy this 
on the official In This Moment merchandise store. Just Google it and you can find it. Or And you can also buy Maria Brink's merchandise, which is great as well, on her on her store too. So, Maria Brink, I think, I think it's MariaBrink.com or something like that. But just type in Maria Brink merchandise, you'll find it on Google. Or whatever you search I can use. All right, let's open this bad boy up. All right, so this is the wing shirt, ladies and gentlemen. No back at, no back, so it's nothing here. But I'm going to get up and show this shirt off because I want to. So, all right, so here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, yeah, look at that. That is sexy. That is very sexy. So... In this moment, with um, I don't know if that's Maria, <laughs> it probably is, uh, with the bloody wings. And on the bottom, it has a lyric from the great hit hit song from Blood Scarlet. And um, it says, "They can never know just what we've lost, what we uh, what we've done." So that's a song. That's the lyric from the. From Scarlet. So basically you can call this the Scarlet Wings shirt if you want. Or just call it Wings. I don't know. But here it is again. I'll raise it up so I can see it. There you go. I have to put my tippy toes up. So there you go. That's the front of the shirt as always. With the lyrics. With one of the lyrics. Not the lyrics. But with the lyric there. And on the back. Nothing. Nothing on the sleeves. And that's it. This is a medium, of course, because I'm medium. <laughs> My dick is large. But I, I digress. Anyway. So, thank... So, once again, the mighty in this moment graces me with their presence. And, um... Here's the wing shirt, ladies and gentlemen. Now I'll be wearing this um, this weekend, actually. I might actually wear it tomorrow, just because I want to. But, I don't know. So I got things to do this coming up this coming weekend, and I'm gonna wear it, and I'm gonna I'm gonna wear it with pride, and I'm gonna have fun with it. Oh yeah, this goes garbage. That's garbage. But that's it. That's all I really gotta say. Wanted to show off my new shirt from the mighty in this moment. Who's uh, actually recording? I've seen some pictures from Maria and Randy on Randy's Instagram and Maria's Instagram, and I think Chris, the mighty Chris Holworth, Twitter as well not, well, not just Twitter, but his Instagram. So they are making magic. They are making ITM eight. I don't know if that's going to be the official name of the album, but it's the eighth official studio album. So it's going to be another banger. If you know what I mean, if you listen to all the In This Moment records like I have, because I have them all. I have them all, even even the last one that came out, Blood 1983, which was pretty damn good. Not my favorite, but it is what it is. My favorite is, and it will always be, tra uh, Beautiful Tragedy. All time, number one. Number two is Blood, and number three is A Star Course Wasteland. So that's my top three In This Moment records, because I love them all. But those three, like, bangers. And if you want to get into in this moment, then I would strongly pick up Beautiful Tragedy. Because that's, like, where it all started 18 goddamn years ago. 18, 18 years for, in, in eight albums. That's, you know... Most bands have, like, 30 albums out, Judas Priest. <laughs> but, you know. But, you know. It is what it is, you know, every two year, every two, two and a half years in this moment comes out with a new record, because I have to tour with it, but, you know, hopefully that, that may, may or may not change. Hey, you never know, ITM 9 might come out next year, because they're going to be touring all this year and most of next year, but hopefully they'll come to new, um, around New York City, because we're kind of getting lonely here. Maria, my metal sister, and you know, I'm talking to you, beautiful. <coughs> you know, give some, give, give New York City some love. You know, come on. I don't want to have to go all the way out to freaking Buckass, New Jersey, and Buckass, Long Island to go see you guys. But 
I mean, I'll do it. I mean, if I have the money, but uh, I'd like to stay in New York City. Once I can get there and back, I'm not going to have to, have to sh schlep. But it is what it is. But I love the guys. I love the guys and the girl and Maria, of course. I mean, she's a doll. Maria's my metal sister, and Chris Ho is my metal brother. And, you know, we got and Randy and Travis and Kent and everybody else that used to be in, in this moment. They're all, they're all my metal brothers and family, the metal family and everything. And um, that's pretty much it for that. So hopefully we'll be hearing new music from In This Moment, I would say by the summertime, hopefully, because um, they will be touring. They're, they have, um, um, they're doing a festival, I think, in May or June. I think it's Rocklahoma. I think it's Rock, no, Rocklahoma or Rockville, something like that. They'll be, they're doing some stuff in the summer and all that. Um, as far as a tour tour, I don't know. Don't know yet. Because I haven't heard anything yet. But but they will be touring in the summer, doing some festival dates. Uh, maybe As far as headlining dates, or co-headlining dates, I would think probably maybe in the summer or in the fall, going into the winter. But we'll see. But in this moment, it's coming to a state near you and country near you if they ever go to Europe again. But, you know, with the pandemic still floating around, who knows? So if you're in, like, like London or you're in Japan, number one, you may or may not see you in this moment for a long time. But, but we'll see. They may go see you guys. Who knows? And South America, too, and maybe Puerto Rico. But it is what it is, and that's um, pretty much it. But anyway, that's all I got to say for right now. I got um, some stuff to do. And then I'm um, probably coming back live on my Peter Gilmore channel with your NXT Roadblock review. So talk about that on the Peter Gilmore channel. And then we'll go right into AEW Dynamite tonight, which should be a pretty damn good card. Um, the aftermath of Revolution. And now we're on the road to Ring of Honor's next pay-per-view. Or the first pay-per-view. Uh, yeah, first pay-per-view of the year. Super Card of Honor. On March the 31st, which is going to be about, uh, that's, uh, three weeks away. March the 31st, which is WrestleMania weekend. So, I think this, uh, Dynamite, and then tomorrow night on Ring of Honor TV episode 2, we'll get more matches announced for Super Carter Honor. And I think AEW-wise will probably be, you know, on the road to Double or Nothing, which I believe is in May. Yes, it is in May. May, that's Memorial Day weekend. May the 20... I think it's May the 27th or 28th because King, of the, King and Queen of the Ring is in Saudi Arabia that Saturday afternoon because in Saudi Arabia we see it Saturday afternoon. And then the day after is Double or Nothing. And then in June we got Forbidden Door. So, lots of good stuff coming your way this spring and early summer. So, buckle up. It's going to be a bumpy ride. But we have a lot to get get through to get there. We got WrestleMania. We got Supercard of Honor. TNA's got a pay-per-view coming up. We got Under Siege um, just announced in um, Ontario, uh, Canada. London, Ontario, Canada. I forgot what date that was. It's so, no, it's March the 20th. Uh, that weekend, too. So, that's Friday night. So, the end of, well, and then we got um, the news today, you know, I'm going off tangent, but it's okay. Um, got the news today that Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico, oh, where my good friend, the beautiful princess, the Puerto Rican princess herself, the demon diva, she's very happy today, not because of me, but, you know, she's happy that Backlash is coming to Puerto Rico May the 5th. Well, no, May the 6th, actually. So, Backlash in Puerto Rico, May the 6th, and then three weeks later, King and Queen of the Ring in Saudi Arabia, and then July the 1st in London, the UK. Get ready, UK, money in the bank. So, three pay-per-views in, over, over, basically in different countries. That's pretty damn good. 
And then we come back to the States for SummerSlam in Detroit. That's Detroit for you dumb people at home. So, so get ready for wherever you may be, especially those countries. Get ready for, for the WWE. Yeah. But especially, you know, Issa's happy. I'm happy for Issa because, you know, I think, you know, she, you know, Triple H, you, you great man, you, you did a good favor for my good friend Issa. But backlash, a pay-per-view, pay premium live event to Puerto Rico like she wanted to. You made it happen. Now, do me a favor, get me a job. No, but it is what it is. Get Issa a job first and then get me a job second, okay? But it is what it is. Anyway, so that's all that. So we'll talk about that later on tonight and maybe tomorrow as well when we get there. But anyway, I'm going for now. I got to go because I have uh, some things to do. I can get my boiler fixed. So um, those people are coming over in about 10 minutes. So I got to get out of here, get ready because my boiler is kind of on the fritz. So I got to get it fixed. Which sucks. <sighs> It is what it is. The wacky world we live in here in New York City. But that's it. Anyway, I gotta go. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, hope you like the shirt. And if you want it, go buy it on the official In This Moment merchandise store. Just Google it. You'll find it. And if you can't find it, then that's just too bad for you. And that's it. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'm Peter Gomez signing off. Peace out. Rock on and rock hard with your cocoot. And if you're not down with that, you're not down with in this moment, and if you're not down with professional wrestling, then we all got three words for you. Like in this moment said in way back when, fuck you, man. Adios. Until next time. Peace.